Well guys, the cat's out of the bag. You now know I am preparing for my next contract on the Utopia of the Seas. I'm going to be part of cast one, which is the takeout ice cast for their new ship coming out in July. I am so excited for this opportunity and I'm so excited to share everything that comes along with this experience because it is going to be entirely different. This contract is going to be very special because it's a new experience for me and I've never experienced being part of a takeout cast. So the whole process of rehearsals, joining the ship and everything that comes after it is going to be entirely different and I can't wait for you guys to experience it alongside me but obviously there's things that I have to do before I actually leave for the contract start date. So obviously because I'm a figure skater one of the most important things to prepare is my skating and make sure that my skates are all ready to go. I did just recently get some new skate boots. I'm keeping the same blades that I have but I have new boots because last contract really took a beating on my boots. They're quite broken down, very soft and it's just time to switch them out. So I received a very exciting package yesterday. Skates US was actually kind enough to gift me some new boots for this upcoming contract. And I'm so excited. I did end up getting these same boots that I've been wearing for years and years. I'm using the Icefly, Adea Icefly, and I thought we would open them up together. So I've been wearing the Adaya Ice Fly since I was competing. So I think it's probably been like, it's got to be like eight years now that I've been wearing Adaya skates. And because I am a pro, I do have to have tan boots. However, the showgirl boots that Adaya offers doesn't come in my size. So instead, I just get the Ice Flies and then I paint them myself. But here are the boots. They look gorgeous absolutely beautiful in case you were wondering what size i wear i wear a 220 in adeas this is the left and we've also got the right i really like that they come in these little like bag sleeves to keep them nice and crisp and here's the other one so we've got some new boots and i'm really excited i went back and forth deciding whether or not to break them in before rehearsals but i've decided to break them in before I get there or at least a little bit because rehearsals are going to be very demanding more demanding than other contracts because it is a takeout so we are actually building the show so I'm gonna want these puppies to be broken in they also threw in some goodies in here which is so fun so they've given me three packs of tan laces which is going to save my life because I always have to dye them and it's never fun so these are already tan and perfect for me We've got, oh, we've got some pink guards. Pink's my favorite color. Amazing. I always wanted these kinds of guards. I've got some kind of tool. Not sure what it's for. I'll figure it out. And then I've got some tan lace straps as well, which is phenomenal. Very excited about this. Thank you so much, Skates US. This is amazing. Ooh, anti-shock undersole. Cool. We also got this. That's everything. First order of business for these new boots is having to mount my blades on them because obviously I cannot skate without a blade. So I'm gonna put these back in the little sleeves and my skate guy is going to mount them for me today. My mom's gonna bring them to the rink with her, drop them off with him. He's going to semi mount them today. And then tomorrow I'm gonna meet him at the rink and we're gonna test out the blade placement before he like permanently sets it into the boot. So if he has to move it slightly, he can, but that's the, the usual process. I'm glad that he's able to mount them today because this gives me a couple more weeks to actually break in the boots and get comfortable with the blade placement. But because it's the same exact type of boot as my current skates and it's my normal blade that I'm using right now, it shouldn't be too much of an adjustment. It's just always a hassle to break in new boots because they're so stiff, but it's gonna be good. We are going skating today and I'm gonna test out my new boots on the blades. Bob did mount them for me last night, but they're not permanently set because he wants me to test them out and make sure the placement feels good before 
he puts in the permanent screws and after that you can't really move the blades. So we are just about to head to the rink. Um, gonna work with him for about half hour, make sure everything is good. And then after that, I will be on my way to breaking in these new boots. Obviously still need to paint them and all of that, but I wanna get a jump start on breaking these new boots in because I want them to be nice and comfortable for day one of rehearsals in a couple short weeks. So <sighs> here we go. in any way. We want that blade to be exactly where your body wants it to be. Do the same thing now. Roll forward to the ball of the foot. Yeah, that's good, Jordan. It's the right foot, the front, was a half a blade width to the outside. skate in them and break these puppies in. some edging I tried to do some twizzles those feel a little bit weird but it's just because I can't really get super deep into my skates because the boots are so stiff but uh, I think I'm gonna skate for like 30 minutes so I want to move on to some jumps try to jump a little bit and kind of get a feel for the boots we're gonna see how far I can get with the jumps maybe I'll just take it easy well I did it a <laughs> single axle, but it feels a little bit weird. <sighs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Just, I need to be patient because I always want things to be perfect first try. I need to remember that. Thank you. Thanks. There you go. Thank you. 
We are back from the rink. I had a very successful first day on the ice. So happy. The placement of my blades was like perfect. Bob always does such a good job. He's been sharpening my skates and placing my blades forever. Like over a decade, I think he's been doing it. So I trust his judgment and he always just does such a nice job. He also actually sharpened my blades, which was incredible because I was telling my mom on the way to the rink that I forgot to ask him to sharpen them, which was a bummer to me because now I would have to give him the skates again like next week, but he just automatically sharpened them because they really need to be done. So that's great. If you're curious how much something like this costs, sharpening from Bob was $15 and it cost me $60 to have the blade mounted to the boot. So not too bad, but I mean, skating is a very expensive sport if you didn't already know. So it's a really good thing I'm actually making money from skating now because when I used to compete and my parents were funding everything, which I'm so grateful for, it really costs you an arm and a leg and it adds up fast. So yeah, today was a very successful first day on the ice in the new boots. My feet are hurting a little bit, like my ankles, because they're so stiff, but Adeas are generally much more comfortable than other boots to break into. Like, they really didn't hurt much. It's just after I got off the ice, I was feeling a little bit of pressure in my ankle bones, but otherwise they're so comfortable and I love breaking in Adeas because they're just so easy to break into. Like day one in those boots and I already did double axle, so I am pleased. Day one, checked off. It is Wednesday, which means it is skating day. I am skating first and then I'm gonna be coaching for a couple of hours. So it is day two in the new skates. Hoping that we make some good progress today. I wanna actually try some spins today because on Friday, I literally just glided in them and then I worked on a little bit of jumping, which is obviously the most important, but I mean, spins are just as important. I just received a package in the mail with my skate polish. So I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different with my skates this time. Hopefully it should last longer and just look a little bit better. I do have the time to sit down and paint my skates rather than just do like spray paint. So we're gonna try that. I do not have time to paint them before I leave for the ring today. So that's gonna be a project for tomorrow, but I am very excited about that. As I said, I really don't like breaking in new skates. I'm pretty sure there are very few figure skaters that actually enjoy the process, but I do like the satisfaction I get of when you've done something in them when they first feel so stiff, you still manage to do your job. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense, but on Friday I pushed myself to do double axle, which I was not planning on doing on the first day, but I just kind of took that extra leap and I did it. It definitely felt a little bit weird just because they're so stiff compared to my soft boots, but that is quite all right. It is the first day of May, which is kind of hard to believe. I feel like my vacation went by so fast but I also feel like I've done so many different things and I've traveled to a ton of different places, so that's been great. With it being May, that means that we are officially in the month that I leave for rehearsals. It's not long now. I leave in 11 days, which is crazy. I did not realize that it's that soon, so I gotta kick it into high gear today. I've just thrown on my clothes for skating, so I have standard black leggings. I've got this little cream long sleeve shirt from Halara. I love the back. It's like a cross detail, and then underneath that I have another little tank top also from Halara. And then over top I have this fuzzy vest from Princess Polly. I'm also going to bring a sweater to put on under the vest just to give me an added layer of warmth because the rink the first rink we're going to is very cold, so I want to make sure I'm sufficiently bundled. Just got this little sweater to go underneath, so that's going to be the fit for today for skating. Going to grab some snacks, some water, and we'll be out the door and on our way. <laughs>
like after spinning. There's a huge wasp. No, you are not coming in the car with us. <gasps> Humongous wasp, I don't want to open the door. We've made it to rink number two. Time to coach for a couple hours. a very long day let me just tell you we were at two different rinks and that hour and a half drive there and back is killer although the day went really fast it's been a long day my body feels that I'm feeling very tired from the day made significant progress with my new boots I'm so happy today was a really good day my skating felt almost completely normal I tried spins for the first time today. I did not try them on Friday, so I'm very pleased with that. The blade placement is perfect. The last pair of skates I had was a little bit stressful because I was kind of rushing to get the blades mounted in time to leave for my contract, so I really didn't have a lot of time to make sure they were in the right spot. And because of that, the one blade was slightly off. Obviously, I adjusted and I made it work, but this time around, I wanted to make sure it was very secure and I was sure that it was the right spot. And spinning today confirmed that. I felt right in that sweet spot and obviously I can't bend as deep into my skates and into the ice right now just because they're so stiff, but obviously that will come with time. It was a successful day of rehearsals, not rehearsals, oh my goodness, can you tell I'm tired, <laughs> of practice. And then after that I coached, so also being in my skates while I was coaching definitely helped break them in a little bit and get them a bit more comfortable. And even though I was in my skates for three hours or a little bit over that, I feel fine, my feet don't hurt at all, which is one of the many reasons why I love Adeas. It's been a successful day, so I'm gonna finish folding the rest of my laundry and we're gonna relax for the evening. Afternoon. Today has been a little bit of a, a sad day because I had to bring Callum to the airport. He is headed back to England. So this morning we were just kind of organizing 
the last minute things for his bag and then I brought him to the Buffalo airport. It's now one o'clock, I've had a little lunch and I want to jump right into painting my skates because as you know, I need tan skates for the shows. It is a requirement. I've gotten so many questions why I don't just buy tan boots or get custom skates and my answer for that is I wear Adeas, so the Adeas do not come in a tan color unless you buy the showgirl boot but the showgirl boot is not offered in my size because my foot is so small. They don't create that boot in my size. I did look into getting custom boots like the ice flies, but tan, and they don't do custom orders like that. So that is the reasoning why I always paint my skates, but it's not really an issue for me. In the past, I have gaff taped my skates and then sprayed that with some firm grip. So it has like a sticky adhesive to it. And then I spray paint them. Today, we're doing something a little different. I am going to be manually painting them, not manually, but physically painting them instead of using spray paint because Adea sent me their skate polish. So we're gonna do that. I think it's gonna look a lot more crisp and well finished. So that is the plan. We've got the skates here. They're so pretty white, not even gonna lie. Like brand new white skates are just gorgeous in my opinion, but I definitely prefer the look of tan skates nowadays. So we've got the skates. I've got a whole bag of brushes, sponge brushes and regular brushes, I think gonna just use a brush like this to paint them on but I've got a ton of different options there and we've got the polish this box just came in the mail day before yesterday there's something so satisfying about opening packages even if you know what's inside fabulous okay so they sent me three different containers of tan polish so this should definitely be plenty and I'm gonna bring one with me for the contract in case I need to touch up the skates. I'm sure I'm going to have to at some point. This paint is specifically for a day of skates. So I think it should work better. It looks very light in the container, but I think I'm gonna test it out first. I figure it's a good idea to shake it first, but it really looks a little bit lighter than they should. I don't know. Oh, no, that's good, I think. See, it's weird. It, it looks lighter in the bottle, but I think it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, great. Okay, with that being said, I can get started with this. They did send me some tan laces, which is great because in the past I have tried to dye my existing laces and it did not work the best. And then I've also purchased laces from online, which obviously works, but it's really hard to tell if it's gonna match exactly, so I end up just spray painting them with my boots, and that's what I did last contract, um, so they did match nicely, but it's gonna be nice to just already have the perfect color that matches the polish. <laughs> skate done i haven't painted the heel yet i'm not gonna leave it like this but i'm thinking of maybe sanding it down and then spraying it with something so that the paint will stick a little bit better but first layer is on it's already pretty much dry so i'm gonna set this aside move on to the other skate and then we will go ahead with the second layer i just want to let this sit for a little bit even though it's already pretty much dry so it's looking good so far that I apologize but I finished my skates I'm just letting them sit to dry for a little bit and then I want to spray them with a water protectant little spray so I've made some oatmeal it was like a little midday snack because I had lunch but it was kind of like a snacky sort of lunch if you know what I mean mm. so oats with protein powder a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of peanut butter Thank you. 
I've just sprayed my skates with this Kiwi all over water protector. So my skates have to sit for about an hour to dry, but honestly, I'm not in a rush. So I've just put them in the dining room. If I just pop on the light. So they're in here drying, but they look so good. I'm so happy with how they turned out. It did take a little bit longer than it would if I had just, you know, spray painted them, but the actual prep of taping the skates takes forever. And honestly, I just think this looks a lot better. It is the following day. I just arrived to the rink. I'm gonna skate in the freshly painted boots. They turned out so good. It's quite noisy in the rink, so I wanted to show you before we get in there. I've done the laces at home. I'm pretty proud of myself. To me, it does not even look like polish. Like, they look like they came like this. So I'm very, very happy with how they turned out. Let's see how well they hold up. I did spray them with the waterproof spray, so it should be good, but yeah, I'm really happy with how they look. day skating went really well yesterday kind of hard to believe that that was only day three in the new skates and they felt great like I have moments where I definitely feel that I have new skates in the sense that I'm trying to bend really deep into my skates and I can't really because it's just so stiff and then most of the time it doesn't feel any different than my previous skates. Aside from having more support, I feel very comfortable in them. I'm able to jump and spin very easily. Spinning is always easier on land because the ship's not moving. So it's very hard to center a spin whenever I'm on the ship. When I come home, I'm like, wow, I can actually kind of spin. Um, and I'm surprised every single time, but the blade placement is great. We've already been over that, but the more I skate, the more confident I feel in the blade placement. It just feels so good and it's exactly where it needs to be. So I'm not shifting to like the back of my blade or the forward, or I don't feel like I'm slipping inside or outside. It's just absolutely right. Feeling really good about my skating. Obviously I still have a little bit more time until I leave. So I have a couple more practice sessions before I head off for rehearsals 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 but I'm feeling really good about everything and I'm definitely feeling ready for this this next step I do need to order new bunga pads because mine are really really old so they're slipping and sliding everywhere I've purchased this twice I like this one the best because it's pretty cheap and also I can cut it to whatever width I want so it's basically just one long sleeve this goes on my ankle so if you can kind of see the inside is like gelling and it helps me from getting any blisters on my ankles. Thank goodness we've got Prime. Prime just makes everything so much easier. You don't have to stress about it arriving in time. All right, that is ordered. That will be arriving tomorrow. If you're a skater and you watch this, it might be useful for me to link it. So I'll have it in the description box. If you're not a figure skater, you're probably not gonna need that link, but you never know. I'll just have it there anyways. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. The last thing I need to do is just continue to skate a little bit more, but if I had to leave tomorrow, I would be ready to go. Skates are feeling good. They're painted and blades are sharpened. Bunga pads are ordered. We are, we are all set. Make sure to subscribe if you are not already because I have a ton of new videos coming out soon, more preparation vlogs for this contract. And of course, I'm gonna be showing you as much as I can of the whole 
install process, getting on board, and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all to the moon and back. I hope you have a great day whenever you're watching this. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.